Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to introduce you to the Raspberry Pi Model B+. Specifically, I'm going to compare it to the older Model B, construct a homemade mounting board, and provide a quick overview of what you can do with this incredible little computer. Right, I'll start by unboxing my Model B+, Plus, which was kindly supplied for this video by Newark Element 14. If we put the B+, Plus next to the earlier Model B, we can instantly see the differences, which are mainly some rather nice additions. For a start, the Model B+, Plus has four USB ports rather than two, and the ports have been aligned with the Ethernet connector to make a more streamlined design. The previous SD card slot has also been replaced with a micro SD card slot, again making things more compact, as you no longer have a flash card sticking out the back of your Pi. The USB power connector has also been moved around the corner to be located next to the HDMI socket, while the previously separate audio and composite video jacks have been combined, again next to the HDMI socket. This all means the Model B Plus has connected on two sides rather than four, again making it easier to work with. Another change is that the Model B Plus has 40 rather than 26 GPIO pins, so enhancing robotics and other external connection possibilities. Fortunately though, the first 26 pins are identical to those on the earlier Model B, so all previous Model B hardware, projects and code, including my own tutorial videos, will work flawlessly with the Model B Plus. Finally, the new Pi has four rather than two mounting holes, to which I'll now turn my attention. I've yet to order a case for my Model B+, Plus, but have found a piece of plastic, a packet of tiny nuts and bolts, and an empty liquid soap dispenser. So, what I'm going to do is to cut a mounting board a little bigger than the Pi, sand smooth the edges, and mark the position of the mounting holes. I'll then drill these out, so that the bolts can poke through. Next, I'm going to take the plastic tube from inside the old soap dispenser, cut four half inch lengths, and fit these over the bolts. The Model B Plus will then sit on top, and can be secured in place with nuts and washers. OK, it's not quite as neat as a Kamak case in which I fitted my older Model B, but it will allow me to work with my new Pi without damaging it. You also need to remember that this kind of DIY is what the Raspberry Pi is all about. For software installation, a Model B Plus needs a June 2014 or later version of Raspbian. So, the easiest thing to do is to download the latest version of the new out-of-the-box software or noobs from raspberrypi.org and to extract it to a micro SD card with at least a 4GB capacity. You can then slot this into your Pi, along with a keyboard, mouse, and a network lead if required, connect an HDMI monitor or TV, and finally a USB power adapter. When the Pi boots, you can then opt to install Raspbian, as I covered in detail in my previous Setting Up a Raspberry Pi video. When setup is complete, you'll arrive on the Raspbian desktop, where you could visit the Pi store to install a whole load of free software. Alternatively, you could close things down, connect some LEDs to the Pi's GPIO pins, and have endless fun controlling them with Python code. You could even wire up a little robot and write a program to control that. And if you want to do this kind of thing, just check out my previous Raspberry Pi Robotics videos. As yet another option, you could wipe your micro SD card, copy noobs back onto it, boot it up, but this time install the RaspBMC XBMC Media Player. This will allow you to watch YouTube and lots of other video content. Here, the extra USB ports on the Model B Plus make it very easy to access media content stored on external drives. And again, if you want to know more, just watch my previous video on the Raspberry Pi XMBC Media Player. The Raspberry Pi Model B Plus has the same price tag as the previous Model B. Given that it's got two extra USB ports, more GPIO pins, and a sleeker, more compact design, it therefore has to be a great step forward in Raspberry Pi evolution. 
For more information on the Raspberry Pi, why not check out my previous Raspberry Pi videos. But now that's it for this time, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.